Gen Con day two is about to begin. Actually, it's already begun. Look at all of these people. Just passed a bunch of people in their cosplay outfits waiting in line for something. Someone's playing power line over there and it is legit. It's getting me in the mood. Oh yeah, we're here. Day two, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. Day two of Day two. Dragon Con Friday. Friday? So excited. It already feels like a Saturday. Yeah, pretty busy in here. It's we just crazy. walked inside. Yep. So today, I don't know, we're just gonna be walking around, checking out the cosplay, hanging out with pals, and yeah, hopefully see the vendor room, see some things that we didn't see yesterday as well. It's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited. I couldn't wait to get back here. This today. is uh this is the day when you know, it starts like full throttle towards yeah. the evening. A lot more uh, cosplayers will be walking among the hotels and we will be experiencing all that too. So, okay. I'm excited for you. All right, awesome. Well, without Wait further ado, to yeah, let's go, let's get in there. Let's let's have some fun. Dragon Con, day Con is on, day two. two. Con is on, oh yeah. Let's... And we are starting off inside of the Hyatt Hotel. Texting friends now to see where they are so we can all meet up and get started. Get started on the day. You honestly could stand in one place and just watch all of the cosplayers go up and down the escalators. It is so much fun. Oh, there's a Chucky. Right there. I see Jane from Tarzan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. I was like, where is he? Where's the doll? That's hilarious. Yeah, that would you could you could easily be entertained for hours just watching people walk past. It's amazing. Another goal for today, I need to get some ribbons on my badge. Everybody has ribbons on their badge. I was not aware that that was a thing until the very last second, but they're a thing. You've got I'm weak, man. I only I got hooked. one. Well, I got none, so You're I don't know what one. that makes me, but uh, that's my goal Our for today is like to at each. least get at least get one ribbon. I think that guy with the cowboy hat and the cloud over there is from Nope. 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 We haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. Oh, oh man. I think that's the Rancor costume Adam oh, that's, was that's talking, the one about. He was talking about. Yeah, ooh. we gotta find that. Later. Hopefully. That'll be at the. Uh, yeah, that'll be cool. The by Star the way. Corgi. Dragon Con Korg again. Oh, look at this butt. Look at the little butt. Hail to John. Hail to John. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. He is, uh, he's looking very festive, that's for sure. My sticker, sticker is still there. Oh man, that is so cool. From the Mandalorian, he's got the Grogu in there. Oh man. I require an answer. I require an answer. Require an answer for what? What do you get when you guzzle down treats? Eating as much as an elephant eats. <laughs> Willy Wonka and his Oompa Loompa. Hey, you got any everlasting gobstoppers on you? Oh, he might. Oh my gosh, he, he does. does. <laughs> he actually you does. You shall receive. Thank oh you, my Wonka. gosh. Thank, Thank you. you. We got Count Dooku and go. Luke and Anakin. It looks like, or probably not Luke, it's probably a Obi Wan Kenobi. That's really awesome. Check out this awesome Maleficent here taking a photo with the evil queen. Oh, that's epic. She look, they both look amazing. Okay, look at this epic photo shoot here. Oh, oh it's gosh, all of this the. Is like PBS overlook. Yeah. Molly from Comfy Couch. Comfy over couch here. Mr. Rogers. Over there, yeah, Mr. Rogers. Spider Man, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Spider -Man. That's so cool. Oh. With the Doc Hawk yeah, there's Kermit over there with Jim Henson. Miss Frizzle down here. They got all their books. Oh, there's all the books down, down there. Yeah. This is amazing. Reading oh, Rainbow. Reading this Rainbow. is so good. And of course, Bob Ross over there as well. This is easily my favorite thing that I've seen so far. That is so good. Oh yeah, I see Carmen San Diego down there. This is so good. My favorite so far, easily. Amazing. <laughs> he's saying the he's saying the books are free. He doesn't want to carry them. That's amazing. That's so good. Giving her a book. He just gave her a book. This is so so heartwarming. So heartwarming. Bill Nye the Science Guy is back there too. I gotta point that out. Oh, there's another Bob Ross. Another Bob Ross is joining them. Yes, another Bob Ross. All right. Yeah, you can never have enough Bob Ross. 
Right Fantastic. There. Oh, she's holding Snickle Fritz. She's holding Snickle Fritz. I named my cat Snickle Fritz after the comfy couch. It's so good. So good. Half of this video is just going to be this shot right here. The Bob Rosses are fighting. That's amazing. Mystery Science Theater 3000 Crow. That's amazing. Look, look, I think I, Greg right there. I think I spied some people that are cosplaying as uh, hey. Greg from Greg's Game Room and Adam, Adam, Adam the Woo. And Greg. Greg from Greg's Game Room. Adam and Greg. Look this up is here. the voice of God. Hello. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's just Jay. We made it! We made it! And these folks here are cosplaying as Bookets. The Bookets from Pizza Hut. Oh my gosh, free pizza. Tell us a book you read. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, it's Jason. Jason from Friday the 13th. Gotta get Jason. I'm wearing my Friday the 13th shirt today. Looks like he's gonna check out, uh, check out Gotham over there with Mario. Awesome. Busting out the gobstoppers. Good Everlasting morning. gobstopper. Greg from Greg's Game Room. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. That's That's right. Right. Nice. Adam the Woo. Yeah, huh? We were just talking about Willy Wonka. We were just talking about Willy Wonka. He gave me this. Slugworth? You sure did. <laughs> well, I said I was going to give him a Slugworth and she uh -huh. Yep. No, because Willy Wonka was really nice, so I we don't want to. We don't want to screw him over. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Prince. Prince from the Dave Chappelle show. That is hilarious. And we have Prince from the Chappelle show. <laughs> Shirts or blouses? Shirts or blouses? Yes. <laughs> There you go. Oh, Hagrid, that's Hagrid. a really good Hagrid. Hi, Hagrid. <laughs> Yara Gizzard Gary. Oh, yeah, and Snape here, too. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Yara Wizard Harry. Outside on the patio. They, this is where they do a bunch of photo shoots apparently for cosplay. Right now, there's going to be a, uh, a Loki one. So there's a bunch of Lokis hanging around here. But yeah, I guess they're gonna take some photos on the, on the steps somewhere. And I think all of the Lokis here are lining up for their time in the sun for their photo shoot here. This is gonna be adorable. Now Lokis time! It's time for the Lokis to head up onto the stairs. There they all go, heading on up there, all kinds of Lokis. We actually haven't seen the Loki series yet. No, I haven't, but we have not I know all about yet. it because it's such a big part of like pop culture right yeah, now. Yeah, lots of, lots of cosplayers still doing, still doing the Lokis, but we know what he looks like, or she looks like, yeah. or the alligator looks like, so. We're staying low-key on the Loki. There you go. Everybody's grabbing their photos of Loki, including Prince over here. Hey, there they are, all of the Lokis here, gearing up for their photo shoot. Looks awesome. I love the dragon. That one's that one's probably my favorite of them all. Oh, sandworms! I hate sandworms. This one though, really cool. Wow, that's amazing. It looks so good. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's a happy looking sandworm. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty happy. Got a robot parade coming through here. This Jawa selling his wares. I'm sure. Oh, a lot of people in here. Oh yeah, and Leia and as well. They're going. There they go. They found an opening. Bye. Bye, Leia. Check it out. The Blues Brothers are back in town. Probably going to be playing a show later. Or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Oh, and Ryan and Ian joining up with the group as well. We're heading into the Dragon Con art show. And if you're going to get a ribbon, a good place to get one would be at these ribbon meetups here. Everybody comes in, I guess, with all of their ribbons and they just, like, exchange them. I still, uh, still don't have any ribbons, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll grab one. And check it out! My first ribbon! First ribbon. Ian has the same one. That's oh, awesome. It's actually secondhand. Greg, uh, Greg gave it to me. Why not? Yeah, why not? So, yay! My very, very first one. So excited. Steve from Blue's Clues! And blue on his shoulder. Blues. That's amazing. Oh yeah, and he's got blue too. Does he have his handy dandy notebook? I think he does have his handy dandy notebook. I think he's finding clues. That's awesome. About to head inside of the ribbon room now. 
I have no idea what's about to happen. I guess, uh, oh, thank you. I got a, got a ribbon. I think that's, I think that's exactly what's about to happen. Okay, never mind. They are having everybody leave the ribbon room because there's just not enough space in there for everybody. And we were just right at the door and then they stopped us. So, oh well. But we got, we got two ribbons. We got two ribbons. And Ryan was kind enough to grab me a ribbon. No contraband con me astucia. There we go. I don't know what it means. It's moss. It's moss for my tea crowd. That's amazing. It looks so good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you do? You have it? Oh my god. Moss and Roy. You have the internet. The internet. That is so good. I love it. We went up another level here. Got a bird's eye view of all of the cosplay going on down below us. You could literally, sp I think I've said this a million times, you could literally spend your entire time here just sitting in one place looking at all the cosplay. Oh no. Here goes Michael. Here goes Michael. Watch out whoever you are, he's right behind you. We are outside, now we're gonna head over to the vendor room, or rooms, I should say, a whole hotel devoted to the vendors, so this is gonna be pretty epic. Here we go. Hey, we finally made it inside. We're inside, oh, look at that, there's Jason. Look at out, official Dragon Con tie-dye shirts. I definitely need to get me a Dragon Con shirt. I really like how this one looks. I definitely want the tie-dye one, that's, that's for sure. And of course, what is a comic convention without all of the toys and action figures you could possibly want and the pops of course gotta have the pops never seen any willow action figures before it's my first time that's pretty darn cool willow only saw that movie once but it's pretty good you come here and you decide that you want to cosplay they have plenty of options for you here as well this is just one example i just wanted to point out all these really pretty colorful hats here they are so fun so awesome yeah, I really like these. I like the little witch hats, of course. That's my favorite. Check out all of these patches here. Lots of really, really cool Doctor Who stuff. I like the NASA TARDIS thing here. Of course, the actual TARDIS things here. The Daleks. Would you like some Teramasu? Yep, those are Daleks. Oh, K9. Over here, there's a Cyberman. Awesome. I like this one. Just Doctor yeah, Who? just the Doctor Who classic. Found Mark Muncy at Dragon Con over here, and I have this book in the author's corner book. here. Yes, you do. Yes, I have oh that my book gosh! Because you are my friend, and you wrote I those books. Yeah, he wrote amazing, the books. Right? Welcome back to the channel, Mark Muncy at hey, Dragon Con. Hey, how you all doing? Good. It's so good to see you, Chris. Yeah. See you today. And you, oh my gosh, we are here. <laughs> the amazing Jonathan Mayberry right here. Arrow J Knight right here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the most incredibly charismatic unknown author you've <laughs> never heard of. What did you write, sir? <laughs> Jericho's Bane. Yeah. Jericho's Bane, right here next to Mark Muncy, here in yeah. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here in Appalachia. Here in Appalachia, in Florida, whatever. And they just announced today Variety Magazine on Travel Channel September 30th, Big news. aka. Discovery Plus, September 30th okay, as well, if okay. you don't have the channel. The Curse of Robert the Doll documentary, narrated by yours truly, lots of extra stuff. Uh, so we'll be doing that, and that's right after our Mothman Festival. So this okay. is cool. We'll have fun at Mothman. Is, it, oh, yes. And I can't wait to watch that. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. You guys can't are going to be, it's part of Spooktober. Or it's like Ghosttober. Ghost I got it wrong. Ghosttober. <laughs> so. Mark Muncy but, on the travel channel. That's, we love you guys. We can't wait. First seen here, yes. first announced here. So. Yes. All right. We love you guys. Awesome. Have fun. We stay love you. safe we on will. the travels. Yeah, you too. And stay spooky. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we got some spooky stuff over here. We always got to find the spooky stuff and this is really adorable you have the little ghosties here they got some really cool earrings some spare teeth those spare teeth jars that you were looking for they got them here and also little eyeballs little eyeball pins oh how adorable little little rings made out of teeth oh there you go that's what, that's what you can uh 
You, you ah. wanted, to, see, you wanted oh. to put a ring on it, right? Oh. So there you go. You want a tooth ring? Maybe. I don't right. know. How about an eyeball? Be different. Yeah, eyeball. Yeah, let's do that. If you like it, you gotta put a ring on it. Exactly. We are now on level three of the vendor. It's really not a room, not a vendor room, but the vendor hotel. There are many, many, many levels. I'm not sure how many exactly, but yeah, we're on we're on the third one. We're just kind of meandering through. But yeah, I just wanted to pan across here so you can get an idea of what we're dealing with here. After all, what is a comic convention without Dungeons and Dragons? Lots of Dungeons and Dragons books here and uh, figurines, little miniatures as well. I've never seen this version of Pass Up Gifts before. You can if you want. Oh, okay. Or you can just literally toss it across your house. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, I used to play this with my family all the time. Not this version though, is the, they're tiny, tiny little pigs. This is so funny. Also check it out, The Thing. There's a board game based on the movie, The Thing, which is a board game that I really, really want. I really want to play it. I love the thing, but it's awesome. That's really spooky. Some different versions of Catan over here as well. I've never seen this one before. It looks like Catan based in out, outer space. That's amazing. I would love to play that. Oh yeah, Ticket to Ride Europe over here. Ticket to Ride is one of my other most favorite games. Oh yes, in the thrilling game of photosynthesis. Play it in real time. That's gotta be great. Honestly, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but that sounds pretty awesome. Also, this game sounds really cool. Cryptid. All of the card games you could possibly want. I see a lot of Pokemon over here, but of course I am interested in Magic. Magic the Gathering for Pokemon cards. And they have uh, individual cards here as well. I know when, back when I was actually playing it all the time, back in my day, I would look at the specific cards for a long, long time. Trying to find the perfect one. DeLorean, oh man, that is awesome. And it's playing the music too. That's so great. There it goes, heading down. down downtown Atlanta, it's amazing. Oh, it's a xenomorph, that's so good. <laughs> That is amazing. So creepy, so good. All right, the music is back and bumping. Holy moly, it is so busy. Great Pirates of the Caribbean. They're doing a photo op there, and then I don't know what that is, but that is scary. That is really scary. Wow, that's amazing. Reptar, gotta find that Reptar. That's awesome. Hi, Reptar. So, so far, almost all of my ribbons have been gifted to me by other, other people, secondhand ribbons. This one from Greg, this one here, the red one from Ryan, and then the Hellfire Club from Adam. This is the only ribbon that I got by myself, on my own, so. There you go. You did it. You're the only person who hasn't given me a ribbon now. Together. Yeah, you're the I only have person. To find a ribbon. Okay. And the first time I find a ribbon, I will give it to Ryan. Ian. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> googly eyes. Okay. On this guy out here. That's hilarious. Is there one on the other side? Yes, there is. There definitely is. So now we're heading down the street towards a, another Dragon Con tradition, if I'm not mistaken. A tradition. Tradition. Started by Splore and Ryan. Started by Splore and Ryan. I can see it from here. Gus's Fried Chicken. Apparently it's world famous, and hopefully they have something other than fried chicken. Greg got a Star Trek phaser. That's cool. Open it up for the it first together. time. Oh, I'm you have watching. to put it together. Open That's it neat. Unboxing. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, Naturally, at Gus's world famous fried chicken, I got the world kids famous. grilled cheese. Yes, and french fries. Made with chicken. Famous grilled cheese. Looks world good. famous. <laughs> We are back into the Dragon Con Freight. Check it out. They're doing a lightsaber, lightsaber photo shoot going on here. Here's Chewie. Oh no, he's being 
He's captured. Actually, I think I think that may just be a ploy. But anyway, yes. All the lightsabers. They're gonna do a bunch of different, bunch of different uh, Star Wars photo shoots out here. There's everybody's waiting their turn to get up here. I think right now they're just doing the lightsabers. Okay, I think they're actually gonna be moving everybody over somewhere else because there's too many Star Wars cosplayers out here. That's that's actually pretty awesome in and of itself. So much Star Wars going on. Everybody's shuffling out with their lightsabers. Transitioned over to the new place where they will be doing the photo shoots. We have scurried over here as quick as we could to hopefully get a good spot to see everybody lining up here. Should be seeing them all filing in over here as well. They're filing in all the Star Wars cosplay. Oh, there's the Han, Han Solo cup over there. While heading on to the stairs. Five, six, oh. step. Solo and Rebel pilots over here. Do me a favor. Would you guys go up three more steps? just keep piling in the stairs are almost completely full and there's still people walking in tons of them oh my gosh i don't know if they're gonna fit everybody on there there's an amazing queen amidala down there oh my gosh those are some cosplay goals right there i was just telling jay i have got to next year i'm gonna cosplay i swear next year bb8 on his little x-wing there Backing it up, backing it up, getting into position. All right, check it out. It is pretty much all the way filled up. Still people waiting to get on in there. Oh my gosh. So much Star Wars cosplay. Okay, this may be the most. I think this is the most I've ever seen. Star Wars cosplay. Here goes Darth Vader. 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 I think I've seen a couple. Yeah, we've seen a couple. He's a good Darth A lot of Jawas. A lot of Rays. Oh, they're making room. They're making room for Vader. There we go. That's amazing. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> Chewy in there, adjusting himself. Okay, and they're filling up the space over by the Jawas. The Jawas are beckoning them over, beckoning more people over towards them. Hopefully they don't have droids. And Darth Maul is making his way up there. There we go. Yeah, it's filling in nicely. Okay, another Darth Vader has joined the group. Right next to the other Darth Vader. You'll making his way in there. <laughs> yep, you won't see that at Disney. That's a very good point. <laughs> okay, we're going back. We're going back. The rain core is coming. The rain core is coming, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a rain core here. There you go. Oh my god, okay, it's a rain core. We're moving back. You're killing me. I see an Annie oh back god. there too. Annie! Wait, put it, put and also the trash can there. droid is, is over the there as put well. It the, put it up with the oh my god, yeah, put him by the Jawas! Okay, they're moving the rain core into position here. Is he gonna go right in the middle? Go right in the middle. Yeah, put him in the middle. Yeah, where is he? Truly, where is he gonna go? Where is that rain core gonna go? Oh, the trash can droid is making its way over there as well. Some hero of Star Wars. Well, where's R2-D2? 
Yeah, that rain pour is seriously one of the best cosplay I've ever seen. So good. Ah, oh, Count Dooku, yes. That's so Dooku being late. Oh my god. The rain pour is so sweet. Okay, the rain core is being, being brought out now. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target. That's awesome. That's hilarious. Okay, and the and the trash can droid is also being dismissed. There they go. I kind of feel bad that they removed the rain core and the and the trash can droid. They just shoveled away in sadness. Here we go. And without the rain core. Not that the Rancor wasn't gray. <laughs> the Rancor was gray. Now you can see Queen Amidala there as well. So good. Okay, and now everybody is dispersing. From their positions, they're going to do specific ones next. Everybody goes. That was amazing. So many cosplayers in one spot. So many Star Wars cosplayers in one spot. Little photo op going on here with the ring cord. That is so cool. Yeah, definitely the best costume, I think, of them all. Here goes all of the Spartans that we missed earlier. They're heading down. Oh, they're right here. They're going right here. They're doing a little photo op right in here. Getting all lined up. There they are. Remember this last year from all the videos. apartment homes, that is for darn sure. I just wanted to make sure it came from Alice Cooper. Exactly. School's out for Dragon Con. The awesome. King of Shock. We headed over to the other side of the hotel. They are doing a What We Do in the Shadows photo shoot now. Look at <laughs> look at all the nudges. The Guillermos or the Gizmos. Laszlo here has the witch's hat, that cursed hat. He's got the hat. Yeah, this is amazing. So good. I 
love this show. It's one of my absolute favorites. I haven't caught up on the newer seasons though. I've only really seen season one and two. This is amazing. I didn't think that there'd be so many. into traffic here. There he goes. You always gotta always gotta make room for Ghost Rider. He's just waiting for the green light. Oh, there he goes. Go Ghost Rider, go! What a way to end the night. Day two, Dragon Con is in the books. That was book. a lot of fun. Just just had fun walking around, checking out the cosplay, the vendor room, and hanging out with the coolest guys at Dragon Con. Uh, Can't state well, that. I'm hanging out with the coolest girl ever. Appreciate that's that. what made my Dragon Con this year. It's not even over, I gotta say that. Did hanging you have, out with everyone. Yep. Did you have fun? You. Oh my gosh, such a blast night. The cosplay has turned up a notch. Really there are more people here. This is the most crowded yep. uh, Friday night I've experienced in like yep. three years. So, and it I got was to awesome. You, oh, so. There goes Chewie. There's a Wookiee. There he goes. There's a Sasquatch. You always gotta pause the outro for, uh, for Chewbacca. Oh no, oh, he heard me call him a he Sasquatch. Almost, he almost died. It's a Wookiee. I, I apologize. Yeah. Oh, he's got a, he's got a lightsaber on him. I like it. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Chewie. Appreciate it. <laughs> We'd like to take a photo. Okay. Hurry it up, right? All anyway, right. finishing up this outro, we got uh, big, big, big for plans <laughs> for tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get some sleep. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get, get some early. sleep. We gotta edit this video, and yeah, we gotta get up early for some special, special stuff. Yeah. I'm excited. So, okay, thank you all Picture so much okay. for watching. Make sure that you check out Tampa G's video as well. He had his camera here. So, okay. Well, bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. There's bye. something in the future. Chewbacca's Chewy's got a, a lightsaber. Taking a photo op here with hey, this Chewbacca. youngling. Not actually Chewbacca. I'm, uh, I'm from the Clone Wars. I'm a, uh, there was a uh, Jedi Wookiee named Gunji. Oh, oh okay. Wooden lightsaber. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. okay. Got, got it. On. Got it. So this is an actual, actually Chewbacca. This is Gunji from Clone Wars. From, from the, the Clone, Clone Wars. Wars. Okay. Okay. He's got the saber. That makes sense. And the tooth. Ah. Oh, okay. I've been got enlightened it. by a Wookiee. Thank you. It looks awesome, man. Appreciate it. Oh, Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye well, bye. Everyone's everyone's calling him Chewy. And now and now we know better. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Well, bye. <laughs>